Welcome to Open Elms, an ePortfolio system which holds all your learning. Upon logging in, you may be presented with a learning category page which presents itself something similar to this. Each category will have learning items which have been set for you to complete. Simply click on one of the items. You will then be presented with a learning resource page with the resources that are available to you like this. Simply click on one of the thumbnails to find out more about the resource and then press the blue button to launch the resource. If you don't see a learning category screen, then you may be presented with the learning screen accessed by this icon. And this view shows all the learning resources available to you presented under different category headings. It contains all the learning that is set for you and also all the learning that you've completed. You need to complete all learning resources as they become available. You can see what is completed by ticking on this green icon. The orange icon is for all the resources which are currently in progress and still need to be completed. And the red icon here is for any resources that you've not yet started. Use the checkboxes to filter the learning. You can see what each filter means by hovering a mouse over each icon. Scroll down here to see different types of learning. Learning is displayed in rows. However, you can expand a list by clicking here. You can also select favorites. Simply click on the star button next to one of your resources, and then use the filter accordingly to see all of your favorites. You can access any learning resource by selecting the thumbnail image. Read the information and click on the launch button. This same process can be used for any of the resources, be it learning, e-learning, videos, external training sessions, etc. You can also filter the learning types here. For example, if I was to choose e-learning, this would then filter all the e-learning modules that are currently available to me. I can also use the search button here to filter by a word. For example, if I type in leadership, this will then load in all the resources which are related to the leadership word. If you are completing a learning program on Open Elms, then this will be displayed on the left-hand side of the learning screen. You can use the check filters here to see which resources are required for which parts of the program. You can also search for learning using the task list feature. Here you can see any events or workshops or meetings that you've been assigned. If you click on the learning resources tab, you will see a list of all the resources currently available to you, this time in a list view. And you can use the filter features here to find resources and you can access these directly by pressing the view button. This button here is the upload button. You use this to add work into your portfolio. You can submit work to your manager or collect your resources here. Select an upload type, fill in the form as appropriate, give it a name, map it to a category, a description. And we can also map it into the different parts of the learning program. We can then upload this file with or without comments, and we can now sign it off. In, in other words, we are happy that this is a completed piece of work and we will also enter the time it took us to complete this work. When we press the Add Upload button, this resource is now added to your record and it appears in the system like this. The sign off process is here and management can agree and sign off the work or else they will give you some feedback 
accordingly. So that's how we upload learning into the system. Returning to the main screen here, there is a bell. This will display any assignments with comments that have been made by your manager or trainer, and also any forms that require your attention or need to be completed and signed off. Here is a chat button, and you can use this to speak to any of your fellow learners or instructors and trainers on your course. This button will activate the help video. And here is the calendar button. Here you'll find any of the training events or workshops or meetings that have been made available to you, but this time inside the calendar you will see that there are some lessons that we've signed up to already, and these will be displayed in black. We can also enroll onto lessons that have been made available to you, and these will be seen as a light gray color. Here we can open the lesson, and we can see any related learning that's been completed or not completed. And if the tutor is leading this session online, you might also see a chat board feature here. Other entries in the calendar show deadlines by which you need to complete learning. The progress view shows detailed metrics of how you're doing. Here you can see the program status. You can drill down into these programs to see progress by time and criteria or resource completion. And as time goes on, the outstanding learning is overdue. These bars will turn from green to amber to red, indicating the greatest urgency. If we click on learning resources here, you'll see all the learning we need to complete in a single list. Again, we can filter this list and you can access the resource from here. The events tab will show all of the outstanding meetings or events that you have attended or are due to attend. The assigned forms tab will display any forms you have completed or that require your attention and you can access them by clicking here. And finally, to change your profile, your language, your role, etc., you can access this information in the menu here. On a day-to-day -day basis, use the system as you would a video on demand service like Netflix. Dive in, binge learn on anything you find interesting, and the system will promote content that is more urgent and will alert you when something is amiss. You will get email alerts when learning is due, and you can click on these links to access the learning directly in the system. Enjoy using Open Elms. Make sure you have as much fun using it as we have making it.